This Kello Land Living segment is sponsored by Vance Thompson Vision, where they are changing lives by creating vision. Chances are you've heard all about LASIK vision correction surgery. After all, you are a loyal Kelloland Living viewer, right? But you may not have heard of something known as refractive lens exchange, which can be a better option for certain patients. In fact, as I found out when I sat down with Dr. Daniel Trevine at Vance Thompson Vision, refractive lens exchange is essentially the same surgical procedure as cataract surgery, which is performed on approximately 3 million Americans each year. Thanks for having me out here. Yeah, Ashley, thanks for joining us. We're talking today about refractive lens exchange. Mm -hmm. Let's start by explaining what that is. Yeah, refractive lens exchange is a type of refractive surgery. And basically, when you think of refractive surgery, it's just getting people out of glasses. And refractive lens exchange is removing someone's natural lens before they've had a cataract uh, and placing a new lens in there so they can see good without glasses. So we've talked about ICLs before. How are those different? Yeah, that's a great question. So an ICL is a lens that goes in front of someone's natural lens, uh, and it sits right between the colored part of the eye, the iris, and the person's natural lens. And there's a little space right there where the ICL or implantable contact lens fits. But with refractive lens exchange, what we do is we take out their natural lens completely and replace it with a man-made lens, and that implant will last them for the rest of their life. Why would somebody get a refractive lens exchange surgery then instead of doing an ICL? Yeah, it really depends on what that patient's goals are and kind of their age. Uh, with the ICL or the implantable contact lens, typically we can just correct people's distance vision. And so if you're someone who's in their late 40s or early 50s and you're starting to need reading glasses uh, for things up close, cell phone work, computer work, or things like that, then an ICL is just going to give you really good distance vision and it's not going to allow you to see up close without glasses also. Whereas a refractive lens exchange with some of the great new options we have for implantable lenses, those can get people out of glasses for really all of their activities. But you wouldn't want to necessarily do it too soon in life? Yeah, if you're in your 20s or 30s, uh, we typically don't go to refractive lens exchange because your natural lens is really still great at, at flexing and you know a young person can see up close without glasses. Uh, but as you get older and you lose that ability, then it starts to make more sense to take out someone's natural lens. Are there any risks or side effects to going this route? Yeah. Uh, anytime we do any surgery inside the eye, there's a small risk of infection. It's about 1 in 10,000. Uh, but for most people, this is really kind of the best way to get them out of glasses, especially if they do want to be able to read and do want to be able to see their computer and things like that without needing cheaters or reading glasses. What's the recovery like? This surgery is very straightforward. Most people are seeing good and feeling good kind of the next day after, so it's really pretty quick. Uh, there is a little bit of irritation that happens the day of and things can be fuzzy the day of, but really people are kind of back to their normal life the day after surgery. And is this often an option for people who can't get LASIK or is it just completely different? Yeah, you know, there are three main categories of refractive surgery. There's laser vision correction, where we reshape the cornea. There's ICLs, where we place that contact lens like we've talked about. And then there's the refractive lens exchange, where we remove the lens. Uh, and you can have all of those at any stage of your life, but it's really what the patient's goals are and kind of their age. And so if you're someone who's above 50 and you want to be able to see at all distances, that's really when you would go towards a, a refractive lens exchange versus one of the other types, which just gives you good distance vision. So is it permanent? Yes, this lens will, uh, you know, last hundreds of years. They don't degrade. They don't, uh, you know, dissolve or anything like that. And it'll prevent people from needing cataract surgery later in life. And so if you take the lens out before the cataract forms, then you don't need a cataract surgery when you're in your 60s or 70s. We've talked about that before that inevitably everybody gets a cataract if they're lucky enough to live that long, right? So yeah. Side benefit. Yeah, so cataracts are a normal part of aging, and so eventually everyone will need cataract surgery, and so this kind of preempts that process and gets people out of glasses uh, even sooner. So if you say, boy, I, I really would love to be out of glasses, uh, and I don't want to wait for the cataracts to develop, then it allows that person to get out of uh, glasses or contact lenses sooner. You know, our vision is something that's so important to us, so picking an eye surgeon is like, I mean, that's your sight forever. Mm -hmm. What 
should people know when they're thinking about doing a surgery like this and finding the right surgeon? I think what's really important is going to a place where all the options are presented, where there's a place that's committed to the kind of the best technology. So having all those options presented to you, whether that's LASIK or PRK, whether that's implantable contact lenses or refractive lens exchange, I think is really important. And also having the ability to, once you've chosen that surgery, to make sure it's uh, someone who kind of believes what you believe, who believes in the best technology on earth and believes in a patient experience. It's a lot of information, and mm -hmm. you have so many different options and so much medical terminology. So how do you make that something that your patients can easily understand? Yeah. So, you know, uh, we have a lot of great educational materials out there, and I think when patients come in for their exam, we really try and uh, explain how the procedure works. And, and talking with the patient about what their goals are, then you can really uh, explain the surgery in kind of a goals-oriented discussion, which makes it people for really easy to understand. If they tell you, well, my goals are to be out of glasses at all distances, then you can talk about what the technology can do for them in that situation. Are there ever really any situations where you can't help somebody? There's, there's, it's very uncommon that we can't make someone uh, independent from glasses if they really want to be in. So almost everyone is a candidate for some surgery. It's just making sure that it's the right surgery for them and you don't try and fit a square peg into a round hole by doing the wrong surgery on the wrong patient. As somebody always involved in the technology and the growth and and new things, you know, what are you most excited about? Yeah, I think what I'm most excited about is just the vast amount of different technologies that are becoming available to patients. And all those different technologies really allow us to tailor patients' goals to the technology that's right for them. And so as we continue to get new lenses developed and new lenses approved, it really makes it so p patients can have all of their goals really met. What's your favorite thing to hear from a patient? Oh boy. You know, there's there's so many different things that you hear. I love when, you know, I did surgery on my mom and she said, oh, I got to decrease the size of font on my cell phone. So she's like, that's such a big win for me. A lot of people say, boy, I never knew my house was so dirty. And so I, that's one that I just love hearing because it's amazing how much you can brighten someone's life and brighten up their vision. The thing I also really like to hear is that they get to live the life they want to live. So someone would be say, God, I was so tied to my contact lenses or tied to my glasses. I felt like I couldn't camp as freely or do something. And now they can live the life that they want to live the way they want to live it. A lot of times new experiences. Yes, exactly. And seeing them clearer. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yep. Thanks, Ashley. If you're considering vision correction surgery, look no further than Vance Thompson Vision. You'll be greeted with excellence from the moment you walk in the doors. If you'd like to schedule a consultation with any one of the experts at Vance Thompson Vision to talk about which vision correction option is the best option for you, give them a call in Sioux Falls at 605-361-EYES. That's 3937. You can also find out more by visiting VanceThompsonVision.com. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by Vance Thompson Vision, where they are changing lives by creating vision.